Okay, in this experiment we're going to compare an AC signal with a DC signal, both lighting a bulb to the exact same brightness. So we're going to connect firstly a DC supply to a bulb, and then we're going to connect an AC supply to a bulb. And what we want to do is combine both of these together in one circuit and switch between the two using a two-way switch. Now ideally what we want is we want the bulb to be exactly the same brightness when we switch between the DC supply and the AC supply. Now at the moment our DC supply is giving us a brighter bulb so if we put in a variable resistor and adjust the brightness of the bulb so that it has exactly the same brightness when we switch between the DC and the AC supply. So let's try it again. There's AC, DC, AC, DC. The DC is a bit dimmer now so we'll decrease the resistor a bit more. And again we're adjusting this so that the bulbs are the same brightness. Just a touch less resistance here. And this time switching between the two the bulb is exactly the same brightness with the DC battery supply and with the AC lab pack supply. Now what we want to do is we want to measure the voltage from each supply using a CRO set at 2 volts per division and when we connect to our DC supply we see that the line on the trace jumps up 2 centimetres. So 2 centimetres at 2 volts per centimetre means our DC supply is showing us that it's 4 volts, a constant 4 volts DC. And because the bulb is exactly the same brightness with the AC, then the AC must be producing an equivalent signal. But our AC signal is a, a sine wave, so if we stabilise that first, and then we try to measure the peak value of that AC supply, again it's at 2 volts per centimetre, and our peak value of the AC signal is above two boxes now, so let's turn the time base off and measure the peak voltage, which is 2.8 centimetres. So if the peak is 2.8 centimetres and the CRO is set at 2, two volts per centimetre, then we have a peak voltage of 5.6 volts. So 5.6 volts peak is producing the same effect as 4 volts DC. So we need to have an effective voltage for our AC voltage, we call that the RMS voltage. It's the peak voltage divided by root 2. So 5.6 divided by root 2 gives us our effective voltage of 4 volts, same as the DC.